Color is probably the most complicated area of user interface design. This is because we have a tendency to use colors that distract and feel completely unnatural. That makes our design look messy. So let's try to avoid that with these guidelines. The first thing I want to recommend is to use a single base color for your design. And with base color I mean any different color than black, white or some shade of grey. Having too many colors in too many places all over your website is an easy way to completely screw up our goals of a clean and simple interface. So sticking to one main color is a good decision, especially if you're just starting out with design. The colors you see here are from a tool called Flat UI Colors. Flat UI Colors is a very cool resource to choose your base color. To start out, I guess you can't go wrong by choosing any of these colors. And besides fixing a base color, you can also create a darker or a lighter version of that color. Doing so, you can create a nice color palette like this one here. The color palette shows all the colors to be used in a certain design. I used a tool called 0 to 255 to create that darker and the lighter blue tones. As I said, the gray tones are no base colors and we many times need some of them, for instance, for text formatting and background colors. Find the links to these tools in the course ebook. Now, if you really want to mix up multiple colors, I recommend to use a color wheel like Adobe Color CC or Peloton. These tools make use of color theory to choose the best color combinations for you. So for example here with Adobe CC color, you can create your color palettes using color combinations that actually make sense. Just play around with it and see what you get. You can then use a main color to draw attention to the most important elements on your web page, like a call to action button, and the second or third colors can complement the main color. The next guideline is about attention. When you're in doubt about using colors, just pick a color that stands out and use it mostly to draw attention to a button or any other element of importance. Uber's website does a terrific job in doing exactly that. And number four, never choose the color black for any part of your design. This is because black actually almost never appears in the real world. So using complete black just doesn't feel natural. And last but not least, I want to say a few words on which colors you should actually choose for your design. That's because picking a color for a website means more than picking your favorite color and turning it into a design. It means picking the right color in order to get the desired response from your audience. Color really makes a difference. This happens because there are psychological effects behind each color. So let's see what feelings each color can evoke and how to use this knowledge. Red is a great color to use when power, passion, strength and excitement want to be transmitted. Brighter tones are more energetic and darker shades are more powerful and elegant. Orange draws attention without being as overpowering as red. It means cheerfulness and creativity. Orange can be associated with friendliness, confidence and courage. Yellow is energetic and gives the feeling of happiness and liveliness. Also, it associates with curiosity, intelligence, brightness, etc. Green is the color of harmony, nature, life and health. Also, it's often associated with money. In design, green can have a balancing and harmonizing effect. Blue means patience, peace, trustworthiness and stability. It is one of the most beloved colors, especially by men. It is associated with professionalism, trust and honor. And that's actually why the biggest social networks use blue. Purple is traditionally associated with power, nobility and wealth. In your design, purple can give a sense of wisdom, royalty, nobility, 
luxury and mystery. Pink expresses romance, passivity, care, peace, affection, etc. And finally brown is the color of relaxation and confidence. Browns means earthiness, nature, durability, comfort and reliability. So that's it for colors. If you want to learn more on this subject, I included a couple of links in the course ebook where you can read all about color theory. Make sure you check them out.